hey guys welcome back in Kodi Bangla IT and from this video we are going to make or yeah we are going to simply make some more android game okay we, in this video we learn that project setup and some more videos we learn that android game development how we can optimize our game for android how we can make the game for our android how we can export and yeah lots of things will be learned because in internet i saw that there's a no a very good video available by using Unreal Engine 5 or using Unreal Engine 4 okay so I think that maybe this video will be help you so guys don't forget to like share and subscribe so as you can see I am downloading this month free uh, epic game asset that is style as asset so maybe you have a question that uh, bro uh, in which l engine we are going to use so for the learning the mobile development we will be use the unreal engine 5 okay and this is the earliest pre uh, earliest preview version 2 okay make sure and as you can see but you have a maybe question that bro why you are downloading this asset pack this asset pack don't support or didn't support unreal engine 5 it's only support the maximum 4.26 which one I have already so what I did that guys basically I'm create a simple a project a blank project in Mandarin in 4.26.2 and just adding that asset in my 4.26.2 engine project okay then we'll be use that asset in our Unreal Engine 5 so just basically we can now cut this thing don't worry then go in games then let's click on third person then for mobile development you need to set it to mobile and also the quality set it to stable so it will be give you a better result for your mobile development and let's give our game name that mobile oh sorry uh m m o b i l e mobile in uh in u e 5 okay that is maybe name good or mobile ue5 i think that is be good more good okay then let's click on create make sure i select the blueprint and use the target platform mobile and set the quality to stable then click on create okay so now our project will be start creating for the mobile so we need to optimize our project many time or lots of because in unreal engine 5 it's not complete version so there's a lots of bugs we need to fix these bugs manually okay so yeah i think this video will be help you so at this time you can subscribe my channel Kodi Bangla YT and if you think you are Bengali you can subscribe my channel of unreal engine Bangladesh there's also lots of unreal engine tutorials video available in Bangla so you can check out them also and also there's a lots of playlist in my you know in my playlist section so you can check out them also because there's I give lots of you know cool cool uh, project files and lots of things so as you can see the shader is now building because now you have a question that bro why the shader is compiling because the shader is compiling for the android okay or the mobile as you can see the mobile preview or the mobile uh, game as you can see the shape or the sharpness of our project is not so much okay however let's click on settings then click on engine then click on that high you can set it to medium or high as you want and um, i'm also set my engine to high and the materials that high okay so one is done as you can see our project is ready but we need to set up lots of thing okay sometime in third person uh, template there's a lightning problem come okay as you can see however we'll be fixed that however now at our cmd that control okay as you can see our the epic game stop okay you need to download okay now let's come in cmd and search that sgat state that fps and one is you enable or maybe it's not enable sgat s t a r t start um fps maybe or uh, maybe i'm typing sgat state fps yep now it's working that sta uh, state state FPS as you can see our currently FPS is only 54 FPS not very good and also MSI is only uh, that was using so much MSI so what you need to do just go to edit go to project settings and at the project settings search here that L U M E N so as you can see the the global set it to none and also the reference method to none so then as you can see that now it's correctly giving us the FPS is 72 that was so much good 
okay now let's again go to project settings and now we'll be search that shadow shadow and add here that shadow method set it to shadow maps okay okay one is done now click on save and as you can see correctly our fps now coming to 120 and the msi is 8 that was seriously very good so we are basically optimize our uh, the game as you can see it's have the more smooth navigation now i am very like this thing however now let's do something work in our this project what that setup that it should be we need that android control for controlling this thing okay we need the go to left we need the joystick we need the touch that we can control so for do that you need to click that CTR plus uh, your space bar so your control bar will become then go at settings then enable your engine show engine content make sure sometime it will be like this that disable so you need to click on enable okay uh, sorry it's didn't enable enable so you find the engine content then just click on the engine content and then you need to go to edit that project settings and now at search bar search that mobile and as you can see you find the you find this that default touch interface then click on to default virtual joystick to you left virtual joystick only then click on always show the touch interface and then you need to search that mouse and you find that use mouse for touch so we'll be use our mouse for, by for now like a Android touch okay now let's click on play and as you can see our this joystick come and now at here as you can see we need to set up the camera one that we can control the camera okay like as you can see we can't control the camera but if we hit in our or touch in our display it will be jumping okay because he have that that data okay how will then click on save okay now we can disable our the engine content now let's find out your player where where is he so you can find him very easily by ctr plus b so you can find him his bp then click on double one and double click so it will be open so as you can see it's now come so now at here as you can see there's a lots of code you need to remove the vr code and also you need to remove the mouse that which on his turn to left or right so you need to just remove this thing click on compile and as you can see there's some touch that jumping so for now we'll be remove this thing or just do like that okay then click on compile and save okay now we need some code that this code will be help you to create your uh, the touch so let me show you how that by from the touch the in input that touch if you don't have this thing don't worry just search that uh, T O U C and you find that the touch so at the touch what you need to do is create need to create a uh, vector 2d that at variable click on plus then at boolean search that uh, just click on the boolean and search that V E C T O R vector then 2d and you find this that vector 2d click on that and at here then set that S T A T state or S T A R T start post so at a start post okay then you need a custom event so custom so custom event that U P D A T update P O S so why we are creating this thing that we are creating this thing for our Android touch that by Android touch we can control our camera so okay now we will be at our update post at input we will be click this plus by icon then at here will be set our parameter name that update post of your s and then at the boolean type we also set it to same that vector that 2d okay then click on compile and save okay now that's good now get your start uh, now click on this thing that start post then click on set now click on split it so you find the x and y then click on uh, drag and connect it with the, uh, the press and the release okay so one is done now from the move okay uh, sorry not from the uh, from the location in to search that br and you find the break vector click on this one and you find like this 
then from the move search that you pdat update post and you find like this which one you created the custom event then from update post just click on split okay you find like this then connect it your x with your x y with your y okay now also connect it with x with x so you can click a pin top here so it will be look nice some so we'll be create this pin top okay like that and then connect it with this thing with your start okay now from add here that update post that search that minus and the subtract that minus vector 2d and just connect it with this thing okay one is done you need to click on that divided okay that the divided uh, if it's not come like that divi did you find that divided and at here um, we need the minus divided okay uh, how we can search in Unreal Engine 5 that is the problem that Unreal Engine change the uh, the variable type sum of variable types like plus minus so it will be now become some as you can see we can find the multiply easily but that one is hard so let's try to from search one way that uh, minus vector ctor uh, okay it's not coming let me show you I have already a code sum that it's already created so maybe it's here somewhere if let me show you uh, there's a touch data just copy this code if you don't have I'll give you link description link below so you can download this thing then just come in Unreal Engine open your project and just paste it here okay then click on create and as you can see we need this block that divided uh, minus divided by float okay the vector 2d divided by float we need that block at here so as you can see it's not coming for here so as you can see the, we created the pretty much this thing already like this stuff we already created we need to just find this block so you can paste like here but maybe we should be fine this thing but I don't know why we can't finding this like if I said to divide it it's not coming let's try to disable the concept sensitivity it should be come uh, maybe this one nope that is the person why is it divided icon uh, guys I didn't find the divided that D I V I D it should become the divided by float so float as you can see it's not coming okay you can see it's not showing so maybe there's a uh, some bugs so however let's connect this thing and that is the value of that how much your control sensitivity okay so then just get your yeah and your pitch and just drag it here and just remove this thing we don't need this thing anymore and at here just do like that first is yeah and second one is pitch so the X is your yeah and the Y is pitch okay then just click on with drag with your update post okay so as you can see now it's connected now click on compile and save so now if you click a play as you can see now you can control this thing by our Android touch that is easily very good and as you can see this touch is very big as you can see it's looking very big so we can fix this problem how uh, you can co set up this thing like just click on the again engine co uh, content then just click on your project settings then again search that mobile and you find like this your left joystick click on double one so you can find this where it's where where it is then click on double one double click and as control as you can see here's your size that what is the size you want so i'm giving that 50 by 50 and we also set it the virtual size that 120 by 120 then click on save now let's click on play as you can see now it's uh, pretty enough good more good okay now it's looking very nice yeah so that's it okay okay so one is done now let's as you can see our already the asset is now added so then what you need to do is just go your folder while you save your unreal engine folder or unreal engine pack in my case it's in test then go at content and you find this the pack then click on copy and then come in your unreal engine and then come which one you created as you can see in our unreal 5 it's mobile.ue5 so at ue5 then go at content then click on paste 
so now it will be start the pasting the all the stuff okay so yeah it's correctly now pasting okay it's pasted successfully now come in our unreal engine 5 click on save one time and then let's again disable this thing also the plugins ones and as you can see the stylus is come at here mesh the trees everything has come but we need to render them so before the render let's check that in our style as there's any texture available or not as you can see there's a have a texture and they have lots of texture different type of the effect foliage pops rocks strain trees and i don't know what is this than water so there's a lots of texture available so making a android game that is the main thing of that optimizing the your gameplay okay or your optimize your scene okay so however if you want you can render them okay like just click on the stylus and maps and render them all you can render so in next video i'll show you that after the rendering okay just only i don't do any optimization i just simply just click on double click on these maps and just render the whole my assets so th then in next video will be see i will show you that how you can optimize the texture of the your game okay so just wait and watch